Okay, so here we are. On the set of Eating Your Feed. Eat Your Feet. The show where Adam, the man behind the camera, challenges us schmoes to recreate a viral food from the video. <laughs> From the internet. From the internet, yeah. Okay, so today we're looking at a video from Jun's Kitchen. He's a YouTuber in Japan that does a lot of food content. He's made sushi for his cats. He's got and he has cats. majestic cats. <gasps> wow, the knives. There's two of them. Do you think they're related? What is that? Uh, Do we have swatha. this? What is that? The cats are just like sitting on the counter watching and I really love that. This looks hard. What? Okay, he chopped up fish, he chopped up chicken. He did something to the chicken in the coffee maker? I think that was Bonito Flakes. He's oh, those are Bonito Flakes. Yeah, so he's oh, making he's like a little fish rehydrating yeah. Bonito Flakes to make a type of bra. I think that might be pretty important to get a cat's senses engaged in it. Do cats know what Bonito Flakes are? They know fishy smell. Wow, okay, then he's got one of those sushi boxes and he's pressing raw tuna into it and slicing it up like sushi. Oh, okay, so those goo balls are acting as the rice in the sushi. <laughs> the other cat eats it in like one bite. Yeah, he's, his paws just in there, like, give it to me. Should we talk about our cats a little bit? I would love to. His name's Rice Ball. He's a munchkin cat, and he's my best friend, other than Adam. My cat is named Wellington, mm -hmm. after the birthplace of my fiance. You, you opened this can of worms. <laughs> you were like, talk about your cats. We're gonna be here all Day. <laughs> Unlike the video, our cats are not with us today to watch the cooking process. They would be too scared in this environment. So I think we should chat with our stand-in cat today, our friend Rie. Hi. We're gonna do it okay. again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. You've seen the video. What is going to be the most challenging for us? Because at this point, I don't even know. Butchering whole fish. You need a Japanese deba knife. Okay. I think we're going to need your help when it comes to butchering the fish. Okay. I'm very scared for my fingies today. <laughs> Thank you, Rie. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you soon. Good Hopefully luck. with all of our fingers. So I think we should get as close to a whole fish as possible. He uses two different types of fish. We need a light fish and we need a tuna. So very fresh. Only the best for my cat. Same. Chicken. Edamame. Bonito flake. The siphon. We gotta be really careful here. Yeah, we have to be super careful. This is like. These are our babies. All right, we got stuff. Oh wow, you can really smell the fish. I don't like that. Well, you know who does like it? Cats. So we've got our chicken, our edamame. Bok choy. There are a lot of things that cats cannot eat. Do your own research before you feed your own cat. I think we should begin by. Oh, that is stinky. Taking apart our fish. Okay. Clean hands. And our friend. Hi, hi. What's hey. in the box? My friend, uh, Corin, let us borrow a deba knife. Corin is where we filmed for Worth It Chef's Knives. Yes. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. This one is used for butchering fish. It's very sturdy, so you can cut through fish bone. It's got like that nice like angle on it. That's yeah, if you so can cool. see. It makes me nervous that it's so close to your face. Yeah. I know. As long as I'm holding it. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Tips? Also, how do you fillet a fish? We have a fish here. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Okay. Also, it teaches everything. <laughs> so this is teeth. our sea bream. Oh, it does have teeth. You know what? Those kind of look like rice balls teeth. Okay, so what are we gonna do? First, uh, remove the face <laughs> of the fish. <laughs> Brutal. Do you say head? Go for it, Nikki. Yes. Wow. Yes. There you go. Open it up here and then cut here. And you kind of want to meet in the center. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. It is so sharp. Woohoo. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Watch your fingies. You kind of want to okay, okay. hold and go. Hold and go. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. We move from the spine. Yep. There you go. Ay, ay, ay. That was hard. Now we have to take the skin off, right? Did he take the skin off? I think so. Rie, you're like our cat that's watching us. But way more helpful. <laughs> Cut a little bit incision. Okay. And you can yeah, just yeah, like yeah, peel yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't, no. Rie. <laughs> I screwed it up. You I that. definitely did, so don't worry. I just keep going. Because this just ends up being that little like mountain that's served next to the sushi, right? Well, I didn't get quite as much meat off the skin. I'm gonna take this regular knife and just scrape mine while you're doing that, okay? Okay. Oh my God. Going back to a regular ass knife, that one is so sharp. Yeah. Have you seen that? Doing it. Next, we can process our chicken. We clean the cutting boards, we clean the knives, we cleaned our hands. Everything is clean. This knife. We're being very meticulous. This is for my son. 
beans. But next, we can do our beans and our little bok choy leaves. There's one, a two, Three. four. How many does he have? Look, we can make a little boat and put our little beans wow. in the bok choy boat. This is fun. Okay, stop. Now we can do chicken. Where is it? Ooh. Oh, those are big. The only way we could get skin is if we bought the bone as well. Fair. I'm doing extra steps for my kitty. He's a precious boy, so I will work harder to give him everything he loves to have, like toys and food and treats. Like that song? No, it's very good. Do you call him your son? No. Mm, you will. Okay, so there's our deboned breast. We gotta get to a real small mince. It's so sharp. We're taking all day to prepare this for our cats. I don't even think I ever cook all day for myself. You wanna hop in? Sure. This is not what this knife is designed for, but June does it in his video and it looks so satisfying. It does look very fun. Sorry, Corin. What do you think? I think we're there. Time to steam. Okay, we've assembled our mashed up ingredients. Time for a spa day. I pre-boiled some water to speed up the process. Great. Should we just plop the balls on? Yeah, plop them balls on. <laughs> Lid on. Put it up. Yay! We're gonna let this steam for maybe 15 minutes. Should we check on it in 10? Sure. Now what should now we do? Now what? We really like don't have to worry about overcooking here. No, cats prefer overcooking. 140, 150. What do we want to be at? 165 at least. Again, we can't really overcook it. We just really don't want to undercook it. Don't touch it. Stop touching it. I love to fiddle. I know, cook. I know. I'm a fiddler. I know. <laughs> Any snacks? Do you want some of the spicy rice snacks? How spicy are they? Not that spicy. Weren't these the ones that Annie ate like a whole bag of last year and was just like in a world of pain? Yeah, she threw up. She did? Good, right? A little too spicy. Spicy for me. Patrick, one for the record books. Boom! That's how you make sushi for cats. Ooh, looks the same. Yeah, we Okay, can... we're good. Can we use the siphon now? Oh yes, let's make our dashi. Dashi. So these are the bonito flakes we got. Ooh, that smell. Whoa! <laughs> Are we okay to use this one? It's actually extremely mild. No, are you lying to me to get me to eat it? Not. I kind of like it. It is like very, very smoked salmon. <laughs> oh, this is the most science we've ever done. Boom! I feel like a hamster with this thing. So from what I can tell, <laughs> you put coffee grounds in the top bowl. <laughs> Silly instruction manual. We're making fish broth. Do not use for purposes other than making coffee. <laughs> All right, we've had a little bit of a kerfuffle with our fuel situation. So, as a alternative, we're gonna use this butane hot plate. Yikes! Lock and load this. Stinky flakes. How many does he put in the video? I'm checking now. Florp. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Too much? How about now? All right, Light it up it? first. Why? Because that's what he does. See, it's lit. Oh. Oh, look, look, look! Oh, it's filling him with the water. Oh, his just like blasts up the, whoa! Oh. Ew, <laughs> oh, ew, no. ew, Oh no, oh no. This seemed unnecessary. But like really fun. Not gonna lie, that kind of looks like pee. Oh, it very looks like pee. Careful. Oh. Now we gotta chop everything up. Do you just choppy choppy until it turns into- Oh, it's into... quite hard now. It's a little upsetting. Ooh, oh, the combination of smells. Yeah, you could fart right now, no one would know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how this room, that's how this room smells. It's so dry. Doesn't Remember how we moisture? were like, we can't possibly overcook this. If you can turn this into a base, I will give you all of the props. All I've ever wanted was props. Ugh. Okay, what if I tried to roll this into a tiny little ball? I mean, it sort of keeps a shape. That's not a total failure. Still so crumbly. Quite. Oh, this makes me nervous. <sighs> oh, okay. More liquid helps. Oh, wow. Could you do a little ball roll? Oh, yeah. Nice job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was ready to give up. <laughs> See, like, that looks close to what he did, right? Right? Adam, say yes, please. 
Have you ever caught your cat eating something weird? He likes to eat fluffs. Like if there's just like a random like fuzz on the floor, he'll like sniff it and then eat it before we can grab it out. <laughs> How about you? He'll definitely chew on a hair tie that's on the ground. Oh, Rice Hall loves hair ties. I may have made this one too wet. I'm gonna combine the two of them. I ruined it. <laughs> I think he's gonna be mad. Rice. You betrayed me. I can't believe that's all the fish we got out of that whole fish. <laughs> that's true. Chopping time. More chopping. This whole video is just chopping. Okay, I think I created a paste. Oh, wow. It's a little crumbly, but... It looks so much like wasabi! It's too wet. Oh. Up. Don't use that, please. No, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> time to do the tuna. Tuna. Hold your knife up and let's say it at the same time. Three, two, one. Tuna, tuna time. time! We've bought sashimi grade tuna. It even comes with a little packet of wasabi. Should we eat some right now? I don't really want to. Oh, I'm gonna take it and have wasabi. Do you want me to squirt it right on or what? Yeah, squirt it right on. There you go. You know what this means? You're my cat. This is just like a knife skills video. Oh, okay, well, yeah, well, we're getting there. It's getting very pasty. You wanna give it a go? Sure. Whoa! That's kind of what he does in the video. It looks very effective. Go! Now I'm worried that we're ruining the knife. It's like a little Play-Doh type situation. Ooh, ooh. Well. It's not quite big enough. What if we like fold it in half? Like that? Don't need a lot. We just need it to look like sushi. <laughs> Does it look like sushi yet? <laughs> Cube! We can always try, and if it doesn't work, we can just shape it like we're shaping everything else. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's bad. That's bad. Can I try? It's a bit too thick, I think. Okay. Those are fine. Yeah. So we're just doing a little shaping on these. You know, he ends up with something kind of thick, not too dissimilar from that. Those? Yeah. And I think it's time for assembly, yep. which maybe we should invite Rie to watch. Ooh, okay. Okay, we have mushed beans, mushed fish, steamed and sliced bok choy leaves, mushed chicken, and mushed Tuna. And? And pee. It's Dashi. <laughs> and the last thing we need is our test cat. Ray. Yay! Test cat, test, test cat, cat, test cat, test cat. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. Rice into a like sushi shape. Mm, so technique, so technique. Make eye contact <laughs> with me while I do this. Technique. <laughs> My tuna, a little bit of the edamame. Look like wasabi too. Right? That goes. On top, brush of dashi. Ta da! Wow. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll stand in the center, please. Oh, of course. As is your right. <laughs> Hello, Chef. Welcome. <laughs> I'm nervous. You got this. Just remember to look me in the eyes and say technique, <laughs> then you'll be golden. How's that feel? Squishy. It's a little like moon sand, but wet. Stop distracting me. I'm making sushi for my cat. <laughs> okay, so he kind of dollop of that plops that on there. A little brush of dashi. I'm just gonna do a little gentle. Ew. Shaking. I think this side maybe looks better. We have enough for two more. Why don't we make two more that we could sample? It's not often just I get to little. eat the same food as my cat. Is it okay if I don't eat it? Yeah, no, we don't will be to. insulted. You have to get it with the chicken. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually not mad at that flavor. <laughs> oh, the, after, kind of the good. aftertaste. It's nice. No. no. <laughs> what? Adam? Adam. <laughs> you have to. It's you not that weird. Girl. You have to. Do do. <laughs> oh. It doesn't taste bad, but the texture is upsetting. Upsetting. Horrible. Okay. Just from the visuals, I feel like we did a pretty good job. Yeah. End result versus Jun's, like his is obviously more refined, but I'd say we're yeah. like 80% there. One sushi to go. That's there we sushi go. for my cat. Good luck. Text me about how it goes. Here's my sushi. And here's the rice ball. Hi, baby. If I just like break off a little piece. <laughs> oh, oh. You don't want it, Wellington? There you go. Aww.
とりあえず俺ももらったって言うのすごいしい